Adobe Acrobat Sign is equipped with several workflow features to meet your customers' unique needs during the document signature process. Today I'll show you how to configure your recipients, customize and control agreements, add files, and attach signature fields. As I show you these steps, I want to point out that if you don't see certain recipient, notification, template, or language options, please contact your Adobe Sign admin to enable these features. I'll start by showing you how to send agreements and configure your recipients. To get to the Send screen, go to Send or Request eSignatures. If your account is enabled with users in multiple groups, or what we call UMG, you can select a group to send from and load group-related templates. If you don't see this feature, it means your account isn't UMG enabled. In the Recipient section, you can add an email for each person getting access to the document. Under the Recipient header, you can also establish the order in which they gain access to the document. If you select Complete in Order, a sequential signing process occurs. If complete in any order is selected, the document becomes accessible to all recipients at the same time. To the right of the signature order switch, there's an option for Add Me. Add Me lets you add yourself as a recipient. For situations where one person is signing on behalf of an entire group, you can click Add Recipient Group. For example, you could create a group for the HR team in situations where only one person from HR needs to sign the agreement. If you previously selected Complete in Order, you will see a number to the left of the recipient's email address. This indicates the number order in which they will receive the agreement. The icon between the participant's signing number and email tells you the recipient's role. As you configure these elements, consider how each recipient will be interacting with the document to determine which role to assign. Besides signer, you can also make someone a delegator, an acceptor, or an approver. After defining the role and signing number, you can choose if and how the recipient will verify their identity. Adobe Acrobat Sign offers single-factor email verification or a more sophisticated two-factor identification based on government-issued documents. Now that you've chosen an identification method, you can add a private message, including additional instructions or comments, to your recipient. If you want anyone to receive a read-only copy of this agreement, click the Show CC link under the recipient list and add their email address. You've established your recipients and customized each element. Now you can create a message. There are two customizable fields in the message section. The agreement name field is where you enter a name for the agreement. This field will appear in the subject line of the recipient's email. The agreement message is where you can enter any instructions or comments, which will appear in the please sign email sent to all recipients. Now that your message is ready, you can review the option section on the right side. The first option is password protect. This would require recipients to enter a password in order to open and view the signed PDF file. Next, you have the option to set a reminder. You can set the frequency and reminders will be sent to the recipients until the agreement is completed. You can also select the language to be used in the emails and for the signing experience. Please contact your Acrobat Sign account admin if these settings are not available to enable in your account. The next part of sending the agreement is the file section, where you can attach documents to send to your recipients. Documents can be rearranged by clicking and dragging one document to a new list location. Acrobat Sign will combine all documents into one PDF for the signature process and builds that PDF based on the order the documents are listed. Files can be attached from the Acrobat Sign Library, Google Docs, Box.net, Dropbox, OneDrive, uploaded from your local system using File Search, or you can drag and drop a file into the Files box. Under the Files list is the Preview and Add Signature Fields box. This option allows you to open the documents you've uploaded and place form fields on them. Alternatively, you can uncheck Preview and Add Signature Fields and send the document if you uploaded a template or if your document includes text tags. Thank you for joining me today. To learn more about how Adobe Acrobat Sign is designed to meet the unique needs of your clients in the agreement signing process, including the ability to sign and send agreements on behalf of other users, check out our basic slash advanced sharing video linked below.